afternoon. I'm here to talk about human potential. And I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the latest research that is coming out of neuroscience. So we're really on this frontier, this new place of a renaissance occurring where new things are coming out about how we're wired, how we learn, and how we turn that learning into behavior change. So why neuroscience? Well, the last time I checked, it's because our employees are human. No matter how physically diverse we are on the outside, once you get inside, we're remarkably similar. It affects how we learn new skills, how we work in teams, how we respond to feedback, how we move through change, how we lead and manage other people, how we approach conflict, how we take risks. Brit is an internationally recognized thought leader. She's a published author on a range of critical topics, including leadership, change, innovation, employee engagement, potential, mindfulness, and teams, to name a few. Brit's courses have received over 2.5 million views worldwide. And she has won international awards. We know that 80 to 90% of the competencies that really distinguish peak performers in the workplace from everybody else are all related to EQ. If you don't have emotionally intelligent leaders, there's no way you can build an engaging workplace. Engagement is the new darling of the business world because all the studies are showing that it drives all the things that matter in business. Customer satisfaction, productivity of your people, retention of your top talent, all kinds of good things happen when you've got an engaged workforce. Britt is amazing at creating the aha moment. She knows just what to do to create a shift of perspective that the audience will retain long after the event. Have you ever seen a good person do something really stupid in the workplace? Normally calm, nice, they just lose it. And you're like, what happened? Their amygdala hijacked them. Because when we go into that fight or flight response, it actually takes away logical analysis and self-awareness. So a lot of our employee relation issues are related to the amygdala. Harassment is amygdala. Bullying in the workplace is amygdala. Micromanagement, oftentimes amygdala. Dr. Andriata has consulted with Fortune 500 and 100 corporations, as well as academic institutions, government agencies, and nonprofit organizations. We're biologically built and psychologically driven to do three things, to survive, to belong, to be part of a meaningful community, and to become, to grow into our best selves. We all have wounds around belonging. Our childhoods were filled with times of rejection and exclusion, and this can be playing out in your adult life. In my work, I see this all the time. Then they had someone who's never meditated meditate once for 10 minutes. Permanent change to the brain, permanent. As I started reading his research, and I'm a pretty tightly wound person, my reaction was like, oh, shit. I gotta meditate. <laughs> like, the data is so compelling that if you're totally against the idea of mindfulness, you will realize you need to. If you introduce mindfulness into the workplace, you will see a change in your employees, your health costs will change, and you'll start to see some better behavior, less harassment, less micromanaging, all kinds of good stuff. Well, mindfulness is the pathway to unlocking your emotional intelligence. Um, it's this idea of really being able to sit with your feelings and know your feelings and then be able to control your feelings and not be reacting from ego or fear. And I'm going to riff off Gandhi here for a minute. Design the habits you wish to see in your org. <laughs> really, start thinking about us humans as kind of predictable in how we move through the world. And yes, we're unique and diverse and wonderful, but underneath it, we have some neuroscience bases that drives how we respond to things, how we learn things, how we change and grow. So knowing how we're wired will help you achieve your goals no matter what they are. Thank you. <laughs>